Hello everybody, Minister here. Welcome back to the Into the Pipeline Mega Campaign in Imperator Rome. In the last episode, we got dragged into a bunch of wars by our allies. And we we helped out in some of them. And we got our new great wonder. The kind of temple building here. Uh, under construction, it's going to take 12,000 days to finish building, so it's going to be a little while. And we are expanding the fleet. And the reason why we've been losing some population is because of some events as we are progressing deeper into the timeline here. 233 CE. Is where we're at. The harvest is so plentiful this year that we have run out of room to store the wheat. The greeneries that we have built near Palma are packed to bursting, and there is simply no room left for what we have on hand. We'll just have to sell the excess at market. Sounds good. Going with Civic. School of Civic Duty. Government Education. Build Roads Cost. National Tax Up. You know what? We'll get the National Tax Up. Yep. Continue to support the celebrations. All right, what can we do here? Maybe bring the teachers up to 25? Yeah, get those built. Envoy sent by Dictator Gaius Verminid, ruler of our ally Venaximodorum. He offers our ruler, Queen Anna, his personal friendship. That sounds good. Well, let's expand the ports. There. Let's expand the port over here as well. Bring that up to a tier four port. I think we're gonna have a rebellion up here and there's not much I can do about it. But I have armies in position, so if it does rebel, we can hopefully deal with it really quickly. Mauritania, two or more of the following innovation living in governorships okay Let's get down this line. Let's go with building slots.
Yeah, we need iron. Iron. Get the surplus iron. Okay, so... Disable automatic training for this province. Because we need to control... Vegetables, salt, fish, livestock. Is calling me to arms again against Vanaximodorum. Well, they've decided to go to war. I do actually need a little bit. Superatia. You know what? We'll go ahead and say yes. As long as that is the only enemy we are potentially fighting. Ah. I see. So you want me to cover your flank. Fair enough. All right. Right as I'm likely about to have a rebellion right there. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's what we're going to do. Those armies march. This army marches here. This army marches there. And let's go... Let's wait for that to finish manufacturing, and then we'll go pick up the other troops and bring them over. Oh, that is a fairly large force. 10,000 troops, almost 20,000 men. We have uh, nearly 27,000 troops, so we'll see how that goes. National tax up. We need a new royal tutor. We'll make you royal tutor. There we go. All right, you're locked into that battle. Get him.
All right, we stack wiped their 5,000 troops. We stack wiped their 4,000 troops. Where's the rest of their army? There it is. Yeah, risk of rebellion. I'm fully well aware. Yeah, let's go deal with their army. going where are you going Calm's armies uh, do the sieging while we uh, we chase their armies around. Yeah, don't even think you're gonna settle down anywhere. There we go. We're gonna get the battle. Got him. Not a stack wipe, but that is gonna be pretty significant damage there. We need to get our troops back home and get them resupplied. Tom is bringing some troops down there. All right. I think their other wars might be over. Yep, yeah, their other wars are over. That means they can bring their attention down here. All oh, right. These troops. Well, the other thing we have is levies, so. Yep, they're rebuilding their army. Get our troops in here.
Let's see now, a civil war. Is not something I want. Uh, why are you coming over here? Head back there, please. Let's see. Currency unification. We'll arm some Vernaxa Moldurum. We're fighting a tiny little... Okay. Yes, we'll agree to it. March these guys back home. Yep, that is what we were expecting. Bring these troops back home. these mercenaries and I hire these mercenaries yeah we're gonna hire those mercenaries oh, I probably should have just gone with levies but that's okay Oh yeah, that's right. When the mercenaries come in, they have like no morale. Ah, uh, we need a commander. Why did we lose the commander? Did somebody just die? I guess somebody just died. Hiring a couple. That's a zero strength army. That is probably sufficient. Let's go ahead and... Fire those guys. Now, Calum is calling me to arms again. Jeez, could you guys get your houses in order? And I guess I'm one to talk. I'm sitting here fighting a rebellion of my own. Papalcano is augmenting the size of his army with his own funds. Sure.
Now I gotta recolonize that? Apparently. Um, yeah, we'll take that option. All right, we have enough. I mean, I could swap some of this out and just import other things. Um, like, do we really need glass? Local citizen happiness. I guess we can take it. Population growth. No, we are not changing the laws. I am not changing the laws. I will bribe everybody I have to. And this province is still disloyal. I guess I can try and make friends with you. This army needs to go park itself somewhere else. Nobody here. Everyone likes gold, yep. All right, friendship. You're still disloyal, though. Oh, there we go. Let's get a court of law over here. Okay, so you need, what was it that you needed? Grain, vegetables, salt, fish. Let's just go with grain. And I don't think we need 
We're not importing the olives. What are we importing? We're importing the wood. Local manpower plus 2%. You want know to cancel the wood import? And instead import um, salt? Maybe? Sure. There we go. Mission task complete. Yeah, we have that one little piece. That we would need. Well, well, I just have to see if maybe that province rebels at some point and we can maybe s just quickly sneak in and grab it. The Kingdom is calling me to arms. Yes. Uh, you know what? We're actually going to decline on that. I don't really need you as an ally anymore. They have um, local allies. They have Anaximodorum, Calm, Tulium. We can make an ally out of them as well. Oh, you are a not a good choice. We'll take you. Major industrial accident. I can swing it. Religious conversion is coming along. Yeah, it's going to be rough until, well, we have more of it and we get it more converted. Let's get local import routes over here. Our ruler is unmarried. Oh, the queen has finally come of age. Excellent. Okay. Now, we don't need to worry about marrying somebody who can bear children because, well... Our queen is capable of doing that herself. Um, what we do need to do is offset, I think. Mm-hmm. 
very poor health. He's 57. Careful liberation assessment pencil spouses. Envoy delivered the proposal, however, reports that he barely made it out alive after Sehar flew into a great rage, hurling a bear, hurling a bear hands. He basically threw a punch. This is our guess of great contempt. We may need to sweeten the deal by increasing the size of the dowry. We will look elsewhere. See, you're not bad. Loyalty is pretty decent. Perfect hell. Of course, see, the envoy points ahead of the third and dynasty is vocal critic of our rule. Ah, uh, I see. You know what? Fine. We'll swing the money. And we want to scheme for popularity. Let me see. Yeah, scheme for popularity. Oh, now what? Looks like you have some rebels. Yeah, definitely looks like you have some rebels. Civil war of some description. Unfortunately, it isn't the peace that I would like to see break away so that I could declare war on it and try and grab a little bit of what I what I need. But you know what? We will accept the offer. Uh, but I'm not really going to make that great of an effort, to be honest. But what we are going to do is uh, end the episode here. We'll stop here, and uh, we'll see what it is that we're going to do. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.